do not try any of the experiments you are about to see at home. You heard him. Don't do it. I'm standing in the NASA Ames Research Facility's Fluid Mechanics Lab, and this place is almost like one of our second shops. In that wind tunnel right there, we tested whether or not you should leave your windows open in a hurricane. It doesn't matter. Today, it's all about race cars. They're studying the car's aerodynamics, but they'll do it with water. Air and water are very different mediums, but when engineers work with them, they tend to think of them both as fluids. And because water is so much more dense than air, if we inject a dye into a moving column of it, we can more clearly visualize how it's interacting with another object. In this case, our object is the car. The first test is simply to see how the currents are moving around their 1 18th scale IndyCar. All right, let's turn on the dye. This is where science gets seriously seductive. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that is so beautiful. Once this smooths out, I feel like we might see something underneath. Looks like the bottom surface of the car is very incredibly low turbulence. The water tunnel, in addition to looking really cool, is actually giving us exactly what we were hoping to see. That is, these cars are famous for their downforce, how much air pressure they're able to use to push themselves into the ground and give themselves more traction. If that's the case, we would expect to watch this move air over its top rather than under its bottom, and that's what we're seeing from the model. Now that we've seen that, it's time to find out what happens when we drive this model over a scaled manhole cover, and that's what our next test is. Adam's mini manhole weighs next to nothing, but it might disclose a clue as to whether the shape of the car can show up some suction. There we go. For good measure, he pumps red dye into the okay. tiny tunnel to see if the predicted change in pressure yeah. sucks it up to the surface. Oh, look at that. So our little car picked up our little plastic manhole cover and took it right along with it. So that means there is some kind of suction being created by this car. To be clear, the car never actually touches the cover, but the drag of its shape is sufficient to pry loose the plastic and release the red dye. It really seems like the forces we were looking for might actually be there, and that gives us a perfect excuse, as if we needed one, to get to driving some real-size indie cars. I'm gonna need a new outfit, clearly. <laughs>